definition of variation, let's jump to the types of variation. Again, we have four types of variation. Number one is direct variation. Number two is inverse variation. Three is joint variation. And four is combined variation. For now, we're just going to deal with direct variation and inverse variation. So I decided na pagsabayin yung direct at inverse variation kasi they are just the exact opposite of each other. So later on, mas madali natin may intindihan yung direct at inverse kapag kinompare natin sila sa bawat isa. What is direct variation? When we say direct variation, it is a relationship between the two variables wherein the ratio of the two variables is the constant. So later on, we're going to deal with the definition kapag nandun na tayo sa part ng um, finding the constant of variation. So in direct variation, the equation is y is equal to kx, where y and x are the variables and k is the constant. So for the statement, we have y varies directly as x. So, madali lang naman ma-identify kung yung given um, variation or statement is direct variation. Kasi, later on, so kapag meron tayong statement, hindi naman automatically nababanggitin dun kung yung statement ay direct, inverse, joint, or combined. So, we have to identify that. And, we can easily identify if the statement is direct variation because of the word directly. So, nandun yung word the directly. So again, for the statement of direct variation, so we have y varies directly as x, y is directly proportional to x, and y is proportional to x. So that is for direct variation. And if we're going to observe in equation, so yung constant ay katabilang nung another variable. So that is for direct variation. So next one is inverse variation. So what is the definition of inverse variation? When we say inverse variation, it is a relationship between the two variables wherein the product of the two variables is the constant. So let's compare the definition of direct at inverse. So in terms of their constant. So in direct variation, um, the keyword is the ratio. So, the ratio of the two variables is the constant. While for the inverse, the keyword is the product. Or the product of the two variables. So, ang ratio ng dalawang variable is the constant for direct. While for the inverse variation, the product of the two variables is the constant. So, another word for a ratio could be divide. And keyword, or the keyword for ratio is divide, while the keyword for the product is multiply. So, mas maintindahan natin yan later kapag kinuhan natin yung constant ng variation. But for now, let's deal with the equation and statement of inverse variation. So, under the equation of inverse variation, so we have y is equal to k over x. Now, let's compare. In direct variation, y is equal to kx. So yung constant in direct variation, katabi niya yung variable. While for inverse variation, yung constant ay nasa ibabaw nung variable. Or, let's rephrase that. So yung variable ay nasa ilalim ng constant. Again, for direct variation, ang constant ay katabi ng variable. So for the inverse variation naman, yung constant ay nasa ibabaw ng variable. So, direct variation, y is equal to kx. Inverse variation, y is equal to k over x. So, let's have now the statement. So, napakadali lang naman ng statement for inverse variation. So, we're just going to replace the word um, directly here and turn it into inversely. So, ganun lang naman ka simple yun. So, for direct variation, so we use the word directly for the inverse variation so we use the word inversely so if we're going to read this so y varies inversely as x again y varies inversely as x or 
The other statement could be y is inversely proportional to x. So that is how you're going to identify if the given statement is inverse. So kapag may word na inversely. So those are the equation and statements of direct and inverse variation. So our main point for this topic now is we're going to translate. We're going to translate the equation into statement and then vice versa. Statement to equation. Okay, so let's have an equation first and then we're going to translate that into statement. And additional, so kapag nagbigyan ko na equation, let's try to identify if that equation is a direct variation or inverse variation. Okay, right, so let's have an example now. So we have here x is equal to ky. Now, this one is an equation. Then we're going to translate that into statement. And of course, before that, we have to identify if this equation is direct or inverse. So x is equal to ky. So this one is an example of, okay, so it is a direct variation. Kasi yung tip nga na binigay ko sa inyo, kapag direct variation, yung constant ay katabi ng variable. So magkatabi yung constant at yung variable. So that is direct. So if we're going to translate that into statement, so it will be x varies directly as y. So ganun lang siya kasimple. Or it could be x varies or rather x is directly proportional to y or it could be x is proportional to y. Ngayon, so parehang may x at y, may x at y. So, paano ba? Ano ba ang unahin natin kapag, for example, gumawa tayo ng statement? So, kapag x varies directly as y, so ang isolated na variable ay yung x. So, nag-iisa lang yung x. So, yun yung mauna. And then, directly as y. But, kapag nauna ay y varies directly as x, so that will be y is equal to kx. So, para hindi kayo malito. Kasi magkaiba yung dalawang yan. So magkaiba yung y varies directly as x and x varies directly as y. Kasi common mistake ng mga students kapag nakita nila yung x varies directly as y dahil binigay ni teacher ay itong example na to. So nagiging common mistake nilalagay nila is y is equal to kx. Kasi nandun yung x at y. So hindi po ganun. So it depends on the sequence ng variable. Kapag nauna ay x, dapat x muna. Then, varies directly as y, saka lalagay is equal to ky. So, para clear lang to, para clear lang tayo sa part na yun. Okay, so next, let's have another one. So, for example, we have um, y is equal to k over m squared. So, hindi man kailangan lagi na x at y. So, pwede man tayong gumamit ng another variable. So, pwede a, b, c, d. So, hindi lang natin pwede gamitin yung k as variable kasi nga constant na yun. Now, we have here y is equal to k over m squared. So, ano kaya ang... Anong var, variation kaya ito? So, direct or inverse? So, this one is an inverse variation. So, dahil yung ating variable ay nasa ilalim ng k. So, kapag nasa ilalim yung variable at nasa ibabaw yung k, so that is inverse variation. So, pag magkatabi, so that is direct. So, if we're going to translate that, so we're going to use the word inversely instead of using the word directly since our equation is um, inverse variation. So, if we are going to translate that, so nauna yung y, so let's write y, varies inversely kasi yung equation natin is inverse variation so y varies inversely as so ngayon paano natin siya um, isusulat m squared or it could be y varies inversely as the squared or the square rather the square 
of m. So, yung exponent natin ay 2, so we can read that as square of m or m squared. So, this is the right statement for our equation. So, that is how we translate equation to statement. Let's have now translating statement or translating from statement to equation. But of course, we have to identify first if the given is direct or inverse. So for number one, we have the number of papers P produced is proportional to the number of trees T used. So obviously, this one is an example of direct variation. So kahit walang binanggit dito na word na directly, so yung keyword natin dito or yung keywords ay is proportional to. So, pag meron tayong is proportional to, so that is direct variation. So, once we know already if the given is direct variation, so we can already write the equation. So, kapag mga ganitong given, so binibigay naman na yung mga variable. So, the numbers of papers P, so ito yung unang variable, so let's write P. is proportional to the number of trees used is equal to so don't forget to write k as constant p is equal to k and then trees used so kt so for this given the equation is p is equal to kt so next number two x varies inversely as the cube of y. So this one, we have the word inversely. So the given is inverse variation. So we have to identify. Para malaman natin kung yung variable ba ilalagay natin sa ilalim or katabi ng um, constant. So since ito ay inverse variation, so yung isang variable ay nasa ilalim ng constant. So, x varies inversely. So, nauna yung x. So, let's write x. So, varies inversely. So, k over. So, the cube of y. Pag sinabi natin cube of y, so that is y raised to 3. So, x is equal to k over y raised to 3. So, that is the answer. So, for number 3, the time t it takes to finish painting a wall varies inversely as the number of workers. So we have already the word here inversely. So therefore, ito ay inverse variation. So again, yung variable ay nasa ilalim. So the first variable is t. So the time t. So let's have t. So t is equal to so k over W. So, T is equal to K over W since the given is inverse variation. So, last one, we have F varies directly as the square of N. So, we have the word directly. So, ito ay isang direct variation. So, katabi nung constant ang variable. So, the answer here will be F is equal to K so, direct variation katabi dapat. So, n squared because of the square of n. So, this is the correct answer. So, reminder lang, um, kapag nagsusulat tayo ng equation, um, yung capitalization ng letter ay bahalaga. So, dahil yung f na capital letter at yung f na, na lower case ay magkaiba. So, magkaiba po ang representation yan. So, ngayon, katulad sa number 4, ang given natin ay capital F. So, dapat kapag gumawa tayo ng equation, so dapat capital din yung F na nakalagay. So, kung ilalagay nyo dyan ay F is equal to K n squared. So, technically, mali po ito. Kasi hindi natin nasunod yung uh, variable na nasa given. So, don't forget the capitalization in translating from statement to equation.